Hi, this is John McGraw of John McGraw Photography. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I work on layers to adjust photos. Uh, I'm using Photoshop CC 2014. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open up this file of uh, a photo looking through a tunnel to San Francisco to the cityscape. I'm going to open it up in, in uh, Adobe uh, Bridge. Uh, however you open up your files is fine. This is just how I do it, so I'm going to show you my workflow. So I just double click on that, and it's a camera raw image. Um, and it brings it up into Camera Raw. So normally you can do your clarity and your shadows and your highlights, however the adjustments that you normally make. Uh, but we're going to leave this all at zero for now, and we want to open it up just the way that it, that it was. So we'll just go down here and we'll hit Open Image, and what we're going to—that's kind of the final product that we're looking for. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do piece by piece each layer. Uh, so right now I want to concentrate on just the walls. Um, and then we'll do the trees and we can do the road and, and you'll kind of get the idea of how I how my workflow works. So we'll go down here down to the layers uh, uh, tab right there. And you can do this for each different one if you'd like. You can do brightness, levels, curves, exposure, vibrance. I'm going to concentrate on the curves for the most part in this tutorial. Uh, but you can do each one. So if you wanted the, the city to be a different color a little bit, you could adjust the hue or saturation or vibrance. Uh, but let's just go to curves. So right now we want to concentrate on the walls. So we're going to adjust this curves layer. And like I said, we're just looking at the walls. We're not worrying about the cityscape, how that's all blown out and you can't see it. We're concentrating on this area here. So, you know, let's just adjust it. And let's say we like that for the walls. Um, right about there. So what, then what I'm going to do is on a Mac, I'm going to hit Command and I. And then we want this over here to be white, this to be black. On the white, when that's uh, on the top there, then it's going to let us uh, paint right here on a layer that will show up right there. So we're just going to hold down the mouse, and we're going to paint this layer. And we're brightening this up here. And like I said, this is just going to be a rough edit. Normally I would zoom into the different areas and really... Um, work on the edges a lot more than what, what I'm going to show you here, but you'll kind of get the idea and then you can kind of, you can go from there. Um, if you let go of the mouse and you press it again, it'll add the effect another layer, another time. So we're just going to keep going like that, make this nice and bright. There we go. Get some of the light coming in. And on the left hand side, there's obviously a lot less light come in. So I might hit this a couple more times. Just let go of the mouse, press it again and just paint over these areas. So let's say something like that. I would zoom in, like I said, right here uh, to the top and I'd, I'd go up here, make my cursor a lot smaller and I'd highlight, you know, go on those areas, that sort of thing. But I'm just gonna show you the rough edit right now. So let's go ahead and zoom back out. And now let's concentrate on the road. So I just go down here and I'd create a new layer, go to curves, Adjust. Now we're just looking at the road part. Let's say we like the road like that. Then I'd hit Command and I, and I just zoom in here. I just uh, paint right here. And let's say while I was painting, I did a big, you know, like that. I went up into the trees where I didn't want to. Well, I can go right here, flip it around, do black, and then I can get rid of that, so so that that's not uh, painted. Um, and then go back over here, white, and I can just adjust this layer the way that I want it. And let's say we like it like that. Okay, now the trees here are real dark. There's no definition in them. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to go to layers, go to curves again, and let's just adjust the trees. So let's bring that up. Let's say we like the trees in there. Command I. Once again, I would just paint over this area. I would zoom in, do more detail on that, especially the edges. Um, but like right in there, so I, I went into this area, I can just go back over here and paint over there, get rid of that. Come back over here, run over it a few more times. I'd really concentrate on this area because it's really dark, uh, but I'm just kind of giving you a basic outline of it. So you go through and you do that for the cityscape back here, you do the, the water if you wanted. Um, this isn't the best sky, uh, there's no clouds, so there's not much detail. But let's say there was clouds, you'd go in here and you could de you know, detail the clouds a little more and so on um, for each layer that you wanted. And once again, you could go in here, you could do the, the color balance, the hue, the vibrance, that sort of thing. 
So what, right, right now what I would do is I would go up here and I'd highlight all the areas so that we could bring this all back into camera raw and adjust it a little more. So I would hit the top one and then, then I'd go down and I would hold down shift and I'd click on background, go up here to filter, convert for smart filters, and then um, that would bring that all into one. One other thing I didn't show you I don't think was the uh, right here, the op opacity. Um, you can adjust the paint level or the brush level right here, uh, anywhere from 0 to 100. I was using 60 there, so that would be how much detail you're bringing out. Um, and how, in this case, how bright I would have made the walls. If I would have done it at 30%, it wouldn't bring it out as, as bright, or 100% would be a lot more of that sort of thing. Um, so I have this all into one layer right there. And we're going to go to Filter, and we're going to go to Camera Raw. And that brings it back into Camera Raw. You can still make your adjustments from here, but at least you have a better baseline of a photo to work with. Um, and you adjusted the each area the way you wanted it. So you can do shadows, highlights, you know, that sort of thing. All the normal stuff you do in Camera Raw. Then you can just hit OK, and that bring it into here. Um, I'll just show you, this is the photo that I kind of came up with. I also would, would probably zoom in and work on the details of the edges a little more. You can kind of see where, where it looks like an effect has been done there. Um, the trees need to be darkened a little bit. So, But just kind of give you a rough idea of what you can create out of, the, out of that other photo. Um, so hopefully this helped you. Uh, down below, let me know if you have any questions. I'll try and answer them the best I can.